Good afternoon everyone, hope you're well. Classic 80 fanboy here and today we are looking as promised at Biff Bang Pow, the start of Biff Bang Pow, the figures and the uh, toys that I have. Now before we start I just want to give a quick insight into Biff, Biff Bang Pow, if I may. And I'm going to read it off the Wikipedia site. Um, Biff Bang Pow is a toy company that makes action figures, bobbleheads, prop replicas, journals, barware, drinkware, coasters, license plate frames and tin totes based on licensed properties. They were formed in 2005 by two men, Jason Labovitz and Jason Lenzi. Uh, Jason Lenzi is the one who works on the products and Jason Labovitz is the uh, head of the uh, organization uh, of the company who uh, goes and deals with the licensing. Uh, the headquarters are in Simi Valley in California, US. Now, these line of toys were um, created basically in 2011. I'm going off my memory here. 2011 uh, was the year that they started producing Doctor Who figures and they decided to do it in the line of Mego style toys which are 8 inch toys so what we have here this was produced in 2012 and it's the I'd say John Pertry stroke uh, Tom Baker fourth doctor so third and fourth doctor classic TARDIS it's in the style of okay um, as you can see canines in the front there and I'll talk about canine in a bit but I'm going to reach my hands around now and we'll take a closer look at this TARDIS now I have got the box but the box is upstairs in the attic in the loft and I can't get to it at the moment it just takes me too long but I do have the box when these originally came out they were $49.99 and you get them via Entertainment Earth which is the sole provider for the UK for um, their collectibles but the, I managed to get this on Amazon and I bought this on Amazon for £50 so we'll put Kane on to one side and then we'll take a look at this so in, inside well you can see the design on the outside it's, it's the shape of the uh, TARDIS I will lift it up a bit so you can see the top and that lot yeah so as you can see it's got a flat top yeah the top is flat with the design that looks like it, it's angled up but it's not, it's flat top, it's made of hard cardboard so it's quite sturdy although I wouldn't recommend taking it outside because you'll get it soaking wet through and it'll get soggy and all that lot um, so this is more or less like an indoor toy if I turn it around here just you can see the sides of the box, very well printed really well designed up there and around so you can see all, all four um, sides are really well printed and if I bring it up closely you can see the wood grain there, there's a wood grain pattern in the cardboard all the way around ok so what we're going to do is we'll take it to the front and it does open up so when you open it up I'm going to bring it down again like so so when you open it up it's on magnet, there's a magnet there so it clips in and out and you like that when you open it up both sides open and reveals the John Pertwee stroke Tom Baker roundels. You've got the doors there, and it's, it's classed as a playset. And it looks like that. And inside, you've got a movable TARDIS console that comes out. What I do like about this is that it's really well printed on the front. You've got all the 
instruments on the control panels. Obviously you've got, that's the uh, door opener. But also as well, it comes with a key ring. And I'll just quickly show you, if you lift the top off, there's a little hole in there, you've got to put your finger in. You can pull it out. It does come with a key ring. I've just changed the batteries on there and given the inside a clean so it's almost working. You get a key ring with it and it just sits in there like that. And then you put the top on. Just fits neatly all on there like that. So when you press the button. how this dematerializes and then when you press it again materializes again and when you you can't really see it on screen but there is a bit of a green tinge to it it's not completely grey there is a bit of a green tinge and when you put it back in to the whole console sits in there like that and the interior has got a bit of a green tinge as well all right um, so that's basically the TARDIS these open right out I'll just quickly show you opens just like that so the two flaps fold inside each other it's a good idea actually it, it, it was done it was supposed to um, represent the style of the Dennis Fisher TARDIS that came out in the 70s because that was completely made out of cardboard as well um, it was just the I think it was the doors that were plastic the two front doors and it had a spinning thing at the top so you could you could spin it um, that could spin and you had at the top that 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 could spin you had two buttons a red and a green you press the red and the the, tar, uh, the uh, spinning would stop and the character would disappear and you spin it again press the green and it would reappear again so that was based on the Dennis Fisher TARDIS what as I say just opens up like that it's a little play set for your figures and then close it push both in again and the magnet will close it up so there we go that's the uh, TARDIS all closed up Right, we'll take a quick look at K9. I'll bring him into the screen. As you can see, it's it's quite a big K9. Um, it's completely just it's just moulded in plastic. As you see, there's the hole, so it doesn't do anything. It's not it, the head doesn't move, and this is licensed in. 2009 um, but as you can see it was made in 2012 as well and made in China the head doesn't move unfortunately but it's a nice little representation of K9 he's got his uh, dog collar there and his tail we've got the control panel on the top and K9 written on the side there. So there we go, that's what came with the set. You have the K9, it did come individually as well, but if you bought the TARDIS, you got the K9 with it, as well as the key ring. A lot of the um, Biff Pound Pal stuff they did, um, the, the franchises they did, they bought out the six million dollar man and that had a key ring with it and you press the key ring and it came out with phrases um, things like we can rebuild him and the um, 
the sound effects of his eye going off when he looks in th through his um, bionic eye and when he does the bionic jump and all that, like uses bionics, it made, made that sound as well. But unfortunately, with just this basic TARDIS, it just made the materialization and dematerialization sound. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm sorry it was very quick. But I'm trying to get these videos in before I start back to work. Uh, such as life, I'm coming off a furlough very soon. Um, so things are going to get back to normal. So I won't be making as many videos, probably only one a week. But uh, it just gives you an insight into Biff Pan Pow. If you can get a hold of them, these are pretty rare. Um, good luck about getting trying to get a hold of one. Um, because you're going to be looking far and wide for it. I've had a look on eBay for the past couple of weeks and, and not one's come up. So they made a limited run of these and they are very hard to come by. They're quite rare now. So thanks for watching and uh, be sure to hit the like and the share button if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you again on the next one. Take care and bye bye.